Alright, update on the 29 gallon. I'm just really doing a lot of updates today. Uh, three hours since last updates. First update, I was talking about some plants that I just got. Here's one. It's an Amazon sword plant. Sorry about the reflection right there. I'm trying to get it out of the way. Amazon sword plant. Uh, looks like it's doing pretty well. The larger piece of Lutella. Uh, I think it's Lutella. Let me check. Yep, Lutella. Uh, let's see. Two smaller pieces. My Tetras are doing nice. All of them. Oh, here's a great shot of my cockatoidy flaring. Nice. Here's something that I love. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but my cockatoidy uh, have this. Instead of the double, the double red variety has spots of pure nice red with uh, black spots. Mine, instead of red, is yellow with black spots. I don't know why. It's kind of rare, I think. Uh, female peacock, good and goby. Male peacock, good and goby. Really nice fish. I barely ever see him anymore, though. Well, anyway, uh, Anubius Bartiri broadleaf. I uh, just stuck it inside the driftwood because you can do that with rhizome plants or mosses. If you stick, if you put them in the gravel and you bury the rhizome, which is kind of the stick they grow out of, then they will rot and die quickly. So you don't want to do that. I've never done that because I read about them before I put it. I got them. That's a smart thing. Always read before you buy. Or always study before you buy. That's what I do with all my fish. Except for some of my tetras. Of uh, Serapite tetras. I didn't do research on those. Other, everything else I do research on all the time. Because if you don't know how to take care of them. A lot of store. Any bad store is not going to tell you. They're just going to sell the fish. So you want to make sure you're having some good stuff. Male guppy over there. His fin's getting ragged. Uh, I know why, because my pH is too acidic for him. It's supposed to be in hard alkaline water. I'll change that later. Put him somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Water sprite doing well. I'll put some duckweed in there. Little spots on the water. Uh... My Agassiz, I'll do an update on that in a few minutes because they are really coloring up and moving around and stuff. I think they found their cave or whatever. Bamboo is doing well. I haven't done a video on that one in a while. Uh, actually, this is called Lucky Bamboo. It's technically not a, a species of bamboo. It just looks like it. Okay, here's one thing that I was talking about. Whenever you get the chance to buy something that's over-filtering your tank, get it like if you have 55 get a get a canister filter for at least a 75 if you have the money because uh over filtering your tank is one of the best things you can do uh like having a 10 gallon having a filter that is up to 10 gallons is great for a 10 gallon it works for a 10 gallon tank but it'll just keep it okay uh but the bad thing is it won't get, it won't clear it up anymore. So you might want to get one for a 15 gallon or a 20 gallon. So male bait is doing well. So here's a little thing on that. Uh, I went to the store where I got my Agassiz literally the same day, and I don't know why I bought, I didn't buy like three or four of these because they look really cool and they work. I got this nice blue. Uh, sp large, really big sponge filter. It says it's up to 80 gallons, which really means it's like 75 gallon tank sponge filter. And this is only a 29 gallon, and the water's taken down, so it's still only like 25 gallons, or maybe 20, probably just 25. Uh, so I'm ridiculously over filtering this tank, and I love it because I know once the bacteria start to culture on that. I just put some bacteria on it. Ugh. Where is it? Here, this stuff. I have some. Oh, I used to have some stuff like this. I ran out quickly. I love this stuff. It works really well. Uh. Yeah. So I poured some of that on it. Put it in. It's. If you can see it, 
there are a lot of debris. It's only been in here for like five hours, and it's already caught a whole bunch of stuff. And I know, and when I get back from my trip, it is the tank's just gonna look really clear. I mean, not clear, but because I just I put some uh, beta spa stuff in there because it's basically black water extract. So it's not gonna be super clear, but it's gonna be really clean and pure because that's just gonna have ridiculous. It's amazing because. When you think about it, I'm over here. This, oh, there's a cockatoid again. He, he hates the camera. This sponge filter is for 10, 20 gallons, I think. And it's been in here for a while. I, I need to clean it because you can see how dirty that is. I'm just really lazy right now. Uh, so I've been having that running in there for like a week or two. Maybe a week and a half. Uh... And it's it's kept the tank okay, but it hasn't really improved it that much, except for all that crap that it just caught. So I've got this really big sponge filter. I totally turned that off. I'm gonna take it out later. So really big sponge filter, maybe see 20 gallons, probably maybe three or four times the actual filtration needed to keep this tank in check, but. It over filters it, makes sure everything's clean, and the biolog it's just a sponge filter has mechanical and biological filtration, which means that bacteria, good beneficial bacteria, are gonna be growing on it. So, and with just that, I didn't get a lot of bacteria, but now that I have this gigantic sponge, it's gonna get a whole bunch of bacteria. They are going to feast on the ammonia and the nitrites. And I'm probably not going to be doing water changes or cleaning this filter for a while. Uh, filter is just going to hu be humongous, so I probably don't have to clean it that often. So, yep, there's an update on the 29 gallon. Excuse while I go in, while I put you into the darkness with my finger so I can go over to the 10 gallon. Alright, kitchen 10 gallon, the kitchen, uh, let's see, I put the cribs that were up the stairs in here, they look like they're doing pretty well, uh, fruit tetras, I don't have any information on these, can't find anything, they seem to be doing well, perineon tetras in there, there's one, and, uh, really nice cheetah fantail, or actually, Snow leopard cheetah thing. I'm not sure. And I just got some pitch black guppies, which actually look really cool. Uh, there's the male and the females behind him. She's pregnant, obviously. And the other females back there are pregnant. But he just looks so cool. It's just pitch black. That is just really cool. Uh, female ram doesn't look so good. I think I'm going to take her out or do a big water change not to get her up. This plant's not it's doing really well but it doesn't look so good. So I'm gonna uh, another thing. I am just going to get maybe let's see, twenty nine gallon ten gallon upstairs with a lot of algae in this tank. So maybe ten Odos or nine, three in each tank. Actually three for this tank three for the tank upstairs and um... six no just four that'll be good so that's yeah ten tetras or ten odo cats three for the two ten gallons and four for the twenty nine gallon cause i've kind of sometimes have a big algae problem and i just hate algae and my clown pleco just somewhere in that cave he never comes out and he never eats algae do not get clown plecos unless you have no hiding spaces whatsoever. They will not come out, and they just bore you to death. And they you can't see them. They don't. They look cool, but you never see them. And my old when the 29 gallon was a guppy, a really cool looking guppy tank. I have a video on that. Uh, he came out a lot more often because I didn't have any hiding spots. When he found my little Chinese Asian cave thing, uh, temple was that with that cave. He never came out. 
So I had to remove that, and then he came out, and he was on the glass and everything. So if you have no hiding space whatsoever, then they'll work for you. But when they have a hiding space, then they'll hide. And they only come up during the night, which you never see them, and they barely do a job anywhere. So that Amazon store is not doing well, but it's got a lot of leaves. That doesn't make any sense. Nail crib right there. Nice shot. I like his orange. Nice flowing fins. Female. Really bright pink gold colors. And excuse me once again for putting you in the darkness. And back up here. Sorry about the whole darkness thing and the takes a little bit to get up to my different tanks. Eventually, in a little bit, I'll have all my tanks in the garage. Ooh, females out. Good, nice shot of her. Nice gold, meaning she's in breeding mode. One pair right there. The male's looking nice. So yeah, they're swimming all around a lot more now. Uh, gotta clean that sponge filter. So, as you can see, or I hope you can see, I definitely have a bit of an algae problem in this tank because I left, I had this automatic timer, I went on vacation for like a week and a half, something like, no, almost a week, and then uh, the timer, I put it on wrong, and it's, it didn't work, so I had the light on for a week, a week and algae just bloomed because I didn't have all I had were these gigantic moth, moss balls, or they call them, the one thing I hate is, uh, if you see something called moss, a moss ball, they're actually balls of algae from Scotland or something like that, they just call them moss balls, actually I have no idea what they call them moss balls, they don't look anything like moss, so they're actually algae and you have to rotate them a lot, so look into that if you want one of those, so Lutella, looking nice, uh, there's a shot of the male. So, yeah, they're swimming around a lot more now. I think they've gotten used to the tank. At first, I thought this tank wasn't going to look so good, but then I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's a really nice setup. How oh, freaking wrong. So, weird thing, duckweed is clustering, or clustering around where the flow is. They, they hate flow. I don't know why they're doing that. Uh... I thought they multiplied a lot. I mean, they've only been here for like an hour or so, but they've already multiplied. That's how fast they do it, so. Plants might not have. Yeah, uh, whatever. So, the other female came out of the pot finally. I think they're both over here. Let me use this food out of the way. Heater. Ooh, another good one.